They found a truffle on the bridge. Great. I'm feeling blessed and highly favored. I'll tell you what. Get the hell out now. Hi, cozy friends. How are we this week? I look like someone's grandma. I look like someone's grandma who makes pumpernickel muffins and like knits them sweaters and jars like strawberry, like fresh strawberry jam. <laughs> Well, good day from Grandma Kennedy. I wish all of you a great week coming up. That's all. How was my week, you ask? It was great. It actually started out really strong. I was no longer sad. It was after after the last time I filmed Stardew, after the last episode, like the day after, I was like, I'm feeling so much better. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling amazing. I went into the office like every day, not every day this week, but starting from Monday through Wednesday, I went into the office every day. I don't know. Oh my God, y'all. I don't know if it's that I'm not used to it. Let me turn the music down a little bit. I don't know if I'm, if it's that I'm not used to like so that much social interaction or if it has all ooh, golden coconuts or if it's always been draining to me and I it's just something that I like realized more now because the contrast of the daily not having to deal with it I don't know what it is but I was so overstimulated and so like peopled out on Wednesday because Wednesday are the free lunch days that everybody comes into the office I was I like do you ever <laughs> I don't know if this is like an introvert thing or like a nerd ever just thing I don't know but like you are so like checked out and so mentally like on zero and so like overstimulated and like Pete your social battery that's the word your social battery is like on zero that you like literally have to like force yourself to like make expressions and like react in a way that's like human <laughs> and then I like feel it falling because I don't have the energy to like keep it up and then someone looks at me and then I have to like yes I am responding and I'm listening and then I'm like oh, yes and you have to that's that was my day that was my day um, but a plus was that I got the COVID booster and a flu shot all in one. So I was a little bit out today. I was a little bit tired today, um, cause of that. But other than that, I, I'm good y'all. I'm good. So yes, week is, the week is much better. So today I'm really, I, f I feel very vindicated. I feel very seen because a lot of you were like, don't worry. The octopus is just really hard. It was literally the last one I caught. So that makes me feel better. I'm just going to go home. Oh, I can warp. I'm going to warp home. I'm going to take care of my animals because I have been neglecting them. And I'm just going to attempt. I'm going to attempt the fish still. So y'all said take, eat food that increases the fishing skill. I think that's a great idea. Um, I have wasted time already. It is such a short period of time that you can get the octopus. Okay, I'll love my animals real quick while it's raining and it's easy. Oh my God, it's just so, so many, so many, so many animal things. Also ignore the boxes on my bed, okay? I was looking, I was looking for something and I ha I just organized my room. I think I talked about that. I just organized like every single part of my room so that like nothing is unorganized. <laughs> nothing, there's no like just stuff I don't need. Everything is organized. But in that organization, I can't remember where, where I put some stuff. <laughs> So I had to look for it and I still didn't find it. And then I didn't feel like putting those back under the bed. But guess what? It's organized. Look at that. Look at that. Organized bins. Oh boy. How are y'all this week? I wish I came with some reflections or some topics to contemplate, but I, I don't have any. Also, I very much appreciate that y'all appreciated my emotional sharing moments last week. I appreciate you appreciating me appreciating you. <laughs> I very, I really do. I'm already, it's already like not even worth it to go try and get the octopus today. I'm so good disorganized because I have so many fish. Just an insane amount of fish. I'm gonna get poo and check out the traveling cart. <laughs> they found a truffle on the bridge, great. Thank you, piggies. All right, I got, what did I get? Bok choy, just in case I mm -hmm, need it. You know what, I do have a uh, discussion point. Have y'all been seeing those TikToks? And <laughs> she comes up on my page, not, she never came up on my page before I joined my agency, but she's part of my agency now. She always shows up, but Becca Moore on TikTok. She has these videos where she's like, have y'all ever had a friend that doesn't like you? Like that actually kind of hates you. And then she like tells stories about like this friend 
Oh, it's Gus's birthday, but we're besties with Gus. That just got me to thinking like, I feel like everybody has a story like that where they had a friend that really didn't freaking like them. And it was so clear, but like, especially with people who are kind of people pleasers or people who just want to like keep the peace or people who try and see the best in people or people who, I don't, what's the word? Like you're kind of like the person who wants to see the good and, and like give space and acceptance to the castaways and the people who you know other people don't like that was always me that was 100% always me as a kid through high school no through college through college I always was like oh the one everyone doesn't like I'm gonna find something good about them and I am going to make uh, not make but like I'm gonna make everyone else see it too you know like I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna through you know humanizing them and me finding the good in them other people will see it too and it, it, not even that it was really just like I want that person to have companionship because everybody deserves companionship because you know being the one one or two girls of color in a town makes you makes you empathize a little bit with people who are othered wow that got deep but i need to keep the dorado keep the dorado it's all it was always it was never the friends who were confident which you know this makes sense it was never the friends who were like confident and respected them not respected themselves but just like had like self-esteem and whatever it was never those friends that ever made it feel like they hated you it was always the friends that you took a chance on and you tried to find the good in or like the friend that very clearly has is going through things that always then like punishes you for it and it's sad it's sad because you know they're doing it as a result of being cast aside as a result of like having self-esteem issues as a result of like being rejected by people you know that they're acting on those traumas and those wounds but like it's still hurting you it's still affecting you so you can't accept that but then like I think that's what had kept me in those friendships past their expiration date was that I saw why they would do it and I felt bad and I was like you know they don't mean it or like they they, you know, they just need to see that people will be around them even if they push people away and just like, oh my gosh, to, I wish the, ti- the, the times I wish I could shake younger me and be like, respect yourself more than this. This person's not your problem. This person is not your like project. They need to go to therapy on their own. Oh my God, I wish I gave that gift to myself but if any of y'all are in that situation now or just can relate and and you have a story about like a friend who clearly hated you hated you or like just took their insecurities out on you by like picking out things you could be insecure about or bringing you down in some way i want to hear it i want to hear about it and if you are currently in a friendship like that get the get the hell out get the hell out now i promise you it's not worth it not a single not a single good moment with that person or relationship not a single good moment with that person is worth it never for the times that they make you feel bad remember that okay that's my little lesson from grandma can all right keep that close to your hearts for real though i mean that okay let's get some of the fish fishing plus fishing plus one fishing plus two fishing oh plus three fishing there can't be one better than that huh no all right plus the refishing all right what can i what can i work on let me check my i'm gonna go to robin's and see if she has any recipes to get and then um i realized the thing i can work on is combat i still need to get to level 10 in combat so i could just go be fighting some some enemies you know as one does kill some bats since i have so many to freaking kill still i just can't get over how little house on the prairie i am skull brazier fun all right don't mind me i'll be in the mines for the rest of the day i'll be in the mines you know what else i've been absolutely ravenous for lately and if one of you tries to make fun of me for this you're kicked out you're kicked out i'm just kidding you can always make fun of me it's my love language but what oh i've been watching disney vlogs i've been watching disney vlogs there's this girl and she's so cute she's just so cute and she's so like like sweet like she really doesn't like she doesn't really talk about much else besides just like what her plans are i don't y'all it is just like the most straightforward comforting calming content like i've realized i'm i'm really appreciating content i'm looking the name up and then i'll get back to to fighting 
It's Emily Enchanted is her name, is her YouTube name. I've realized, I guess because I'm stressed or overwhelmed or something, I don't know. I'm really appreciating content that isn't like meandering and you know, like regular vlogs where someone's like, I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I'm doing this and I'm talking forever about something. And it, and then next I'm talking about this other thing and I, I can't do it. My brain can't do it. I just automatically will like go on TikTok or something and I, I can't do it. So I've been appreciating content that's very like one track. Listen, Emily Enchanted, she wakes up. She says, this is what I'm wearing to Disneyland today. This is my plan for Disneyland today. Here's what's going on at Disneyland today. She gets there. She's by herself too most of the time, which I love. I think that is so cool. She just goes by herself, vlogs by herself to Disneyland. She just loves it that much. I've never, I've, well, I was going to say I've never loved something that much, but it, gaming is, that's the thing. That is the thing. <laughs> Do it by myself all the time. I've never, like, I, I can't, I can't really relate to, like, loving a place or, like, something that much to, like, keep going. And, and I, I and it's fascinating. And it's, and there's something so endearing about it, y'all. Like, I've said this before. I'm not, ooh, Shadow Dagger. I am really not, like, a Disney adult. Like, it makes, Disney makes me happy. I would love to go to Disneyland playing Disney Dreamland. Valley is fun, but like I don't really watch Disney stuff like that. I don't like I'm not like into the like merch of it. Like I don't not like it. I just am not like totally into it. But like the appeal, the nostalgia, the like actually being at Disneyland, that's all sounds so fun to me. Sure. But like something about it's so endearing seeing how much this girl freaking loves Disneyland and everything Disney to the point where like she knows every single character. She like knows the path, the the the, the best times to go what things and it's not even like in a in a like a super hyper planning way she just like casually knows things and then it's like oh yeah i know this song like by heart that these like performers are singing <laughs> and like is so excited to meet like mickey and like will like follow around the characters to to be able to meet them like wherever they're she'll be like oh my god i see that like ticker is going over there for a meeting so i'm gonna like see where he goes and then i'm gonna like meet him and then she has this cute little interaction with them something about the whole deal is so freaking endearing y'all and it's so simple because it's about one thing it's about Disneyland it's about her plans and then she'll get like food and she talks about the food and she's like you know what this one's a little bit <laughs> she's like this one's like a little bit worse today or like this one's better in the in Disneyland instead of um Disney World they do a better job at the like spicy corn at Cars Land or something and then like she has these like words I don't even know I'm like I like your words lady she just like things about the park that i i don't get but sound cool man anyways i that was like the longest tangent ever but if y'all are looking for some like very wholesome very like you can kind of get lost in it and and it's so it's just wholesome it's just wholesome that's what it is it's wholesomeness and you're not like she's not like into it to the point where you're like this is weird it's just like cute and endearing it's just it's really cute so that's that and i've been really enjoying content like that lately is my point where it's like it's about one thing it's someone really caring about that thing or being very knowledgeable about that one thing for example i don't know what the hell their names are now i forget it's like two dude names like very basic dude names like sean and olive oscar and let me let me look it up the colin and samir show okay the colin and samir show i didn't know who they were i didn't know i don't, might have seen one of their videos on accident once but i haven't had no idea who they were um but someone on tiktok recommended their podcast and i started listening to it i was like oh my god this is perfect for me being a creator but it's just about like creator the creator economy and stuff and they're both just like so knowledgeable about it and so interested in it and just like so passionate about it you could tell they just really like talking about it and i just that is my jam y'all i love listening to somebody talk forever about something that they really like i don't know it just does it for me it does it for me i think that's why i also like um emma chamberlain's podcasts what happened <gasps> she's gonna avoid one of my chickens don't make it the blue one do they make it the blue one is that a thing that can happen thanks girly that's why I like listening to Emma Chamberlain's podcast. That's what I was gonna say. Is because she talks. I've talked about it before. I'm not gonna get into it, but like she, she just talks about things she likes, and she talks about it in an interesting way. And I like that. I appreciate it. Okay, friends, we did our day of. That was why was that day so long? 
It was a, the longest day ever. Okay, now we're going to just try and get this stupid octopus. Just first thing in the morning, octopus. Dreamlight Valley Goss just followed me on Twitter. Goss. What gossip could there be about Disney Dreamlight Valley? Shall we see? <laughs> they have one one thing on their Twitter. Joined October 2022. Very recent. Um, They have one tweet. It's a retweet. Bad bitches play Disney Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, wait, let me, let me, let me. Oh, this is not it. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, do I have the lead bobber on? Y'all said lead bobber. Oh, lead bobber. This is not the lead bobber. It's okay. We'll make do. We'll make do. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat this. See, I didn't realize that you could raise your fishing skill when it was maxed out. I didn't realize that. My fishing tackle wore out. Oh, I'm screwed, you guys. Willie. Are you going to be inside? No. Okay. So I'm, I'm just, okay. I got to do the, I got to do the trap bobber. Oh, can we buy it now? Are you going in the shop, Willie? <gasps> he's going in. He's going in. That ain't it. That ain't it. Let me buy the lead bobber. Thank you. Okay. Adds weight. Here I go. Now, does it have to be sunny for the octopus to be out? I didn't check that. If so, I would be so mad. Okay. It doesn't say any weather. This is a little harder, but it ain't in, I don't think. Nope. It's always a tilapia. It's not only that it's hard, it's that it doesn't show up often either. Frustrating to say the least. Well, I'm just gonna go back to the mines. That's gonna be my schedule for the next two days. <laughs> I, listen, what did I say, y'all? I said the later playthroughs are gonna be frustrating okay because it's gonna be just me trying to get all of the mundane things done like combat i'm gonna be in the caves i'm gonna be fishing and that's okay all right that's all right i beg for your patience and your support and your hearts and and your your prayers your thoughts and prayers is what i'm really begging for okay <sighs> here i am again just trying to kill bats. Trying to kill bats. Trying to kill soot, soot sprites. <laughs> and trying to get by. <gasps> you know what? So, okay, we're doing Rose and Thorn because I was just thinking about it myself. But I got, which is so fun, very fun and very fun, particularly now, which I'll elaborate on later. But I got the biggest, and I can't talk about specifics yet, but I got the biggest brand deal offer I've ever gotten in my life, ever in my life. And this was like, I got the biggest one I've ever gotten in my life, like last month or was it the month before? Whatever. Like recently I got the biggest I'd ever gotten. It was like a big jump from like kind of my like average. And I was like, oh my goodness, like is this what the future could be like? Oh my gosh. And then this month it was like almost double. It was almost double. Y'all, I, I, I'm feeling blessed and highly favored. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I will tell you what. I'm getting into my Southern grandma persona because the universe is really just handing me, you know, goodwill and it is so nice. And that's all. So that's my rose for the week, y'all, is that I'm feeling very optimistic about, you know, my future in content creating and things like that. And that's all thanks to you. That's all thanks to you. <laughs> Actually, y'all are like my, my, I don't know why I'm still talking this accent. Y'all are like my actual, like, like this. Okay, the Stardew, the Stardew Watchers, we, the, I've said this before, I'll say it again. This is not, this is the passion project. This is the passion project side of all of my content creating. When I say passion project, I mean passion project, okay? And I love that. I love that. It keeps it so that, like, there's never a point where I'm like, what am I doing all this for? Like, y you know, I, what, I don't, like, w w am I still making the same kind of, like, that's never a thought I have in my mind because I do still, I do this every week and I love it and I love y'all anyways my point is that like y'all are really here you're the real ones <laughs> you are the real ones there's there's never a point I think where <laughs> where this can be monetized and <laughs> I'm okay with that and I love that and I love that y'all are here regardless anyways so my rose was that 
and it's a very cool brand deal. It's not something that I felt like I had to take because it was so much. It was something I like would have taken regardless because I'm so excited about it. And I get to be paid off about it. Oh my God. So it's so exciting. And then my, I think my phone was just being super tired and overstimulated this week um, and talking to too many people when I was already tired and overwhelmed. <laughs> so I want to hear your rose and thorns, y'all. Drop them in chat or say it to yourself. Say it silently to yourself or write it down journal it because i i say this all the time i, I repeat myself all the time y'all tell me to shut the hell up in the comments but i am a i'm always a lurker i you will not catch me in the comment sections of anything and i love reading y'all's comments and i know how much comments mean to me and i still won't comment on people who i care about i won't do it i don't know why so anyways i understand that there's a lot of people that don't comment so just say it to yourself say your rose and your thorn to yourself right you know just in your head you don't have to say it out loud just say it in your head just think about it real quick real quick it's so funny i think tiktok is the first time not i think i know tiktok is the first time i've like commented on public things i think it just like makes it seem like that's something you can do <gasps> it's so late i need to go i wish there was some kind of alarm system when it hits 11 please tell me to go home please oh my goodness i can't take care of myself what oh i think tiktok was the first platform because of just like it feels anonymous or it felt anonymous at first and then it just like became the culture to comment on stuff and it's not weird and like most of the time people you know aren't seeing you comment so it still is kind of anonymous in a way tiktok's the first time i ever felt comfortable commenting and i still don't really feel comfortable commenting because now it's like my whole platform's tied to it so if i comment on something it's because it really moved me and i really care about it and if you see me in the comments know that i put a lot of i not not put a lot of thought into it but i really contemplate is this worth you know getting my feeling out there I, I thought about it all right but I do I do kind of wish oh queen sauce damn it I do kind of wish you already know what the, the plan is okay the plan is to I'm not do I'm neglecting my farm I don't care actually okay we'll fish and then we'll check the traveling cart and then I'll go back to the mines. Oh, I wish I wish that TikTok didn't show, didn't put your comment so high when people follow you. It's like, don't put me on blast like that. Because most of the time I'm commenting, like when I comment, it's because like I feel very seen and I feel very safe in, in a community. So I'm like, okay, if I comment this, even people who are following me that see it, like it's chill because they're like within the community and will get it. So like either gaming, either like black culture stuff or like just kind of like girls supporting girls type things like those are really the, the things that i'm commenting on otherwise no y'all aren't gonna y'all aren't gonna y'all aren't gonna pinpoint me see what i like <laughs> see what i think about things even though i say every single thought that comes into my head on this <laughs> playthrough so i talked about this on stream but arizona has gummies now they have gummies okay they're amazing they're real fruit they have like a perfect texture like it's just like it's a little bit hard it's not too soft it's it's great they have the regular mixed flavors like berry and stuff and then they have another one that's like the white package and it's more like tropical flavors the tropical one is the only good one these ones are like actively bad they're not good so if you go to target i got them on target by the way if you go to target and you want to try the arizona ones unless you're like a huge fan of grape and orange that's what they all taste like to me they all taste like grape and orange is the iridium trash can 100% you get back? I didn't even eat my food. I didn't eat my food. Grape, orange, plum. Grape, orange, plum, and apple. They all taste like grape and orange. It's gross. The tropical one's so good. There's like watermelon, and that's all I remember. I don't know. Mango, maybe? I don't know. <sighs> this is this is frustrating. This is frustrating. Not one. I haven't gotten one. Oh, oh. No, I don't think it's jumpy enough. It's not jumpy enough. I'm gonna get it as soon as my fishing tackle wore out. Just watch. Oh no, okay. Let's at least put the lead bobber or the trap bobber on for the last 40 seconds. However time works. 50. So many not octopus. I'm disappointed. Nothing good. <sighs> to the mines I go. To the mines I go. Actually, I'm gonna take care of my animals or just love them. Oh no, why are they mad at me? Oh shit, I think they don't have food. But you have grass. Oh, they're inside maybe. All right, I got some hay. 
since the animals are neglected. Mommy's been focusing on her career. I'm so sorry. I didn't focus on what really matters. Oh, well, Sharta still loves me. Oh, it's because Sharta ate the last piece of hay. Sorry, y'all. Whoopsies. My bad. Oh, and they're still good. That's good. Oh, it just turns one of the eggs black, not the chickens. <laughs> okay, Pooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot I named uh, one of the things one year. One of the pigs. My farm makes no sense. Not a lick of sense. Okay, off to fight. Mommy's going back to her job. Little boots. Oh, it was like a little heart. The shape of the cave. I'm not even tracking the things I kill anymore because it's just, it's too much. Oh, you know what would be so nice though, actually? <laughs> Once I say that, it would be so nice. I'm sure there's a mod that like shows you the current status and how many you have to kill for the guild. That would be so nice, dude. All right, one more day. Hopefully not of disappointment. Hopefully we will at least, I just want to like at least have the octopus on my reel. I don't have to catch it. I just want to know that I have it. It's so disheartening to just not even get it. Maybe I should look at what I'm doing wrong. Maybe there's something I should be doing. The Stardew Wiki basically says good luck. Good Birkin luck. That's what it says. No joke. Go on the wiki right now. See what it says. It says good luck. You dumb b is what it says. I'm only kidding a little bit. He likes an orange. That's so nice. We all like things, don't we? <laughs> just pissed about the octopus. I'm not even kidding though, y'all. It's It literally is just like you do it in the ocean. Do it in Ginger Island. It's just as hard as the legendary fish. Good luck. So, I'm gonna get an orange from my Gordon, my greenhouse. That, unfortunately, is a problem for another time. I do not have the mental wherewithal to deal with that right now. There we go. Well, the row actually goes for a decent amount. Not crazy, but decent amount. I might put that octopus in a fish pond. I might. If I ever catch one, damn. I need like, I need like a beach warp totem almost to like maximize my time. So it, it says that there is a higher chance by 1% each in the ranges to catching it at Ginger Island. So it's 4% to 14% or something. Or like four to 17% here at the beach and five to five to, this is just simply not it. Five to 18% in Ginger Island. You're wasting my time. And it doesn't say I have to go far out or anything. It just says, good luck. Odds are not in your favor. Oh, I should, I should eat the fishing buff food. I'll read you exactly what it says. Most efficient way to try to catch, this is from the wiki. Try to catch this fish is reach fishing level 10, check, equipped iridium rod, check, eat a food that provides a buff, check, and attach trap bobber or cork bobber. I have the trap bobber on. <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This might be it. This might be it. This might be it. This might be it. I think this is it. I think that's it. This is for sure it. It's gotta be it. <gasps> oh my god. I wasn't even like fully conscious for that. I was just go oh, I was just going with the flow. I feel like that was a really easy one. I feel like they j I feel like I keep getting so lucky with the catches that I get and they just happen to have like easy patterns. Insane. Insane, truly. Yay! Oh my god, I'm so happy! I'm checking it off. Caught the octopus. So basically, I only have the legendary fish left. The legendary fish, um, I don't know if all of the ones in the in cheese quest are legendary, but I only have oh and the glacier fish. That's during the winter. I thought I did catch the glacier fish, no? Do I not? Guess not. I already have an octopus in here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna f do flanking octopus. <laughs> Octopi. Octopuses. Wow, I'm so proud. I'm proud. Did that. Did that. Jeez. My god. Okay, I, I just know that, I'm, like, the one I'm gonna have an actual problem with is the legend. That's the one that, I, like, I might shed tears when I have to catch that one. I can't believe I got that. Jeez. Alright, I gotta go, I gotta give Willy his birthday gift, and then I'm gonna go just like any normal day, like I didn't just catch an octopus. Go down to the mines. All right, Pooh, let's go give Gus his present. You're so welcome, Gussie boy. You are still my favorite and always will be. Let's see if Robin has any recipes. Ooh, nice. I think we might have all of the braziers now. 
We have the carved. We do. I think we have all of them. Skeleton. Yes, bring on the enemies. <sighs> oh, it's a star. The cave level is a star. I should look up what specifically like up upgrades your combat skills the most. Because I feel like this is not the most efficient way to max my combat. Like, I wonder if killing harder enemies, you know? It's gotta be, right? Let's just go to the last couple floors. This is scary. I don't remember these. I don't remember these. Ah. Oh, there's the weird guy. I don't like him. Oh my god. Oh my god. How about, how about no? How about let's not do that? Oh my god. Come here. Oh no. I need to go home. I'm gonna look up combat. Combat skills is increased by fighting monsters. Yeah, that's all. It just says fighting monsters. I guess I just don't fight enough monsters. I run away from them. It's my last one. <sighs> I'm just gonna go to bed early. We did a lot. We caught an octopus, okay? I'm proud. All right. I was hoping we would up in combat, but we didn't. That's okay. Okay. Let's do cozy corner. Cozy corner. Oh, y'all have some really cute ones this week. We got one from Torchy. And then we got one from Cozy Nerd Crossing. This one is so cute with the little background. I love that. Thanks for making that a cute hashtag. As always. And the cozy friend of the week is is all Stefan Games with this extremely cute picture of the cozy gamer hat with the TT inventory collection. I love seeing y'all in the TT inventory collection. I loved making it. Also, we're coming out with a just a small, like a couple designs, Christmas cozy gamer collection as a part of Alyssa's entire Christmas collection. So I'll keep you posted on those. All right. Thank you for being a rose in my week, being yet another rose and i'm really proud of us for catching that octopus yay perseverance that's it <laughs> i love you bye stay cozy <laughs>